Makeup tips I wish I knew earlier. Eyeliner edition. I used to start my eyeliner at the very corner of my eyes and I didn't understand why it looked so bad on my eye shape. It wasn't until I realized I was watching all the tutorials for round eyes and not my eye shape. The high wing interfered with my crease and it did not look really good when I tried to smoke out my lower lash line. On round eyes, it's easier to connect the high wing down to your lower lash line because the angle change isn't as harsh. This directional change basically becomes more noticeable when you're working with a more tapered eye shape. Now knowing that, I extend the corner of my eye before I draw on my wing. I also focus the wing out and up instead of just, you know, vertical. <laughs> As you can see, this leaves more room to smoke out my lower lash line. This shape is a lot more harmonious with my natural eye shape, whereas the old method closed off my eyes. Now on to inner corners. I used to draw it in horizontally and had a lot of trouble with my epicanthic fold. Like, why is there so much skin there? What is the reason? Now I work with the natural angle of my inner corner. Essentially, I'm connecting it to my lower lash line more than I am on the top. Honestly, this method has gotten rid of so many problems that I had with the crease in the inner corner area. <gasps> Look at that, I'm tearing already. My sensitive eye people, I got you, okay? This stuff does not come off. Anyway, yes, subtle but effective changes.